Today, Niagara Region Public Health and Leave the Pack Behind are here at Brock University hosting their event, One Day Stand, in an effort to educate staff and students about the benefits of a smoke-free campus. This initiative is sponsored by Niagara Region Public Health and it's uh, supported by Leave the Pack Behind, which is a provincially funded tobacco control initiative for young adults. It's happening on 15 different campuses across Ontario today and um, the, the partnership has been ongoing for quite some time. Leave the Pack Behind has been around for about 15 years helping young adults to quit smoking and uh, the public health departments have always supported this initiative as well. And what we're trying to do is really raise awareness on the one-day stand. So what the one-day stand is, is we want to make sure that um, campuses throughout Ontario are working towards a smoke-free campus. What's the ultimate goal of today's event? Seems like there's a solid campaign going on here. Yeah, we're trying to raise awareness, so we're trying to get staff and students to know about what we're talking about here and um, advocate for a smoke-free policy. So we're trying to support students that are currently not smoking and any students that are smoking and would like to quit to try to give them information on where they can get services to support them with that. A number of Brock students join representatives from Public Health to help coordinate today's event. How has today's campaign been going so far? Um, honestly, it's been going really well. Students are very, very um, eager to sign the petition, uh, or the pledge, sorry. Um, a lot of them are interested in making Brock completely smoke-free, which is awesome. And then a lot of the smokers and stuff are really interested in finding out more about secondhand smoke. So they're pledging for three to four designated areas on campus. Those that participated were asked which they preferred. Reducing designated campus smoking areas to three or four, establishing a smoke-free corridor, or creating a 100% smoke-free campus. However, a lot of students have come to the conclusion that they would go for a smoke-free campus and that, uh, if not smoke-free, would love to reduce the number of designated smoking spots on our campus as there's been 17 smoking spots currently and would love to reduce that to maybe three or four within a certain vicinity of the campus. Uh, we've noticed a lot of support from faculty, even going smoke-free would be a great option and even from staff, so it's been a great uh, turnout. So where we're hoping to go from here is to collect all the feedback and determine what it is that staff, students and faculty would like to happen on their campus here at Brock um, to determine if that would drive a policy change. In addition, what we're trying to do is, again, support anybody that is looking to quit smoking, to give them options and to provide them with free patches and gum, whether there are students between 25 and 29 or 18 and 29 that would be able to receive that free support through Leave the Pack behind or if they are faculty or other individuals on on the property that are also looking to quit to contact Niagara Region Public Health through our tobacco hotline where we are able to provide those free supports to them. Truly the ultimate goal of the campaign is for people to voice their opinions. People like to be heard. We want to hear them because when we all come together and we can hear the dialogue around smoke-free campuses, that's when we start to move ahead. That's when people start to talk to each other and they start to see the pros and cons of a smoke-free policy. And, uh, and instead of you know, pitting people against each other, we can all work together. The input from today's event will go straight to Brock's administration with hopes to influence some adjustments to the campus's current policy. From St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.